Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are doing things differently this month, starting now. I don't know why I didn't think about doing this before, but it is what it is. When you stop forcing, when you stop fighting, when you start flowing and you start thriving, that's when all these good ideas and all this inspiration starts to hit. And I'm not gonna lie to you, last one of my last rituals, I was sitting at my altar and I had this like aha moment. And literally, I went to my altar to connect with my guides, to connect with spirit. There was nothing bothering me, but I felt so called to go to my altar and communicate with them and talk with them. And they delivered, duh, they delivered. I literally sat at my altar and I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? We're doing this? Even as I say this, I can hear the birds outside getting super excited. They might be vibing with my energy and they might be having a party or an argument. I don't know what's going on out there. But either way, I was sitting at my altar and I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? This is what we're doing. I don't know why I didn't think about this. I didn't know why I didn't even think to share this with you guys. Part of it, again, is this way that I'm going to be doing our readings today um, with sharing, you, sharing with you guys the herbs that it is that I pulled for this full moon, the Scorpio full moon, the um, ritual that it is that I see, the intuitive messages, and also the details of the Scorpio full moon. That is what we're going to see, and that is how we're going to move forward into the future and what you can expect on my YouTube channel when it comes to magic intention and working with the energy of the moon and also what's going on in the, in the stars. And you guys know that. If you've been with me for a while, we're always talking about working with the energy of, this, of the cosmos versus working against them. If you see me looking over here, it's because I have the chart pulled up. And these are the card pull, the cards. You might not be able to see them, but I have three piles that are pulled here. And I did three for a specific number. I've really been gravitating towards the number three lately. So that's why there's three pulls for this. We're going to do the pick a card um, pulls later, but first I want to talk to you about the Scorpio full moon. So, and then you guys can obviously, if you want to skip ahead, feel free, but to start, we're going to talk about the details a little bit. We're going to talk about the herbs that it is that I see and also the magic, the alchemy, and you can choose to work with that or you can choose to skip ahead again and look at the timestamps and everything will be linked down below and I'll also pin it for you in the comments. But I am beyond excited to start this. Everything comes with perfect timing. Ah! And even as I look at the clock, it's 1122 and that's my power number. 1122 is my soul spirit number because I am a power number 22. That's my life path number. But moving forward, okay, the Scorpio full moon. The words that are coming through makes a lot of sense and because this is what Scorpio rules, but it came to me through my meditation, it was renewal, regeneration, re-emergence, um, and there was another re-word that I can't remember, but basically what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling is the last few weeks, it, it, it's almost like we've been kind of like sawing off these severed ends with it of ourselves. Part of it is because of last year. I'm still seeing the trickle of last year into this year. It's almost like we're kind of picking up the pieces and putting things together because of all that has happened last year. And that's where we're at right now. Um, so with that, I'm seeing again, you know, cutting off these infected areas, these things that don't serve you. And, but now I'm starting to see that those areas, those um, weak limbs that were cut off, now they're starting to grow. Now they're starting to reemerge. And it's very important that you take care of your space. I'm seeing this, and by space, I mean your sacred space, your body, your energy, your vibe. Part of that, again, is who you allow into your home environment, who you allow to intermingle, who you allow in your head, the music, the thoughts. It's much, very much a purification process and using discernment. Through that process though, it almost seems like the worst is going to happen with people being negative, people being toxic, doing the most, really operating from a lower vibration. So it's easy sometimes, no matter how much, how good your intention is, it's very easy sometimes to get caught up in that, but you really have to kind of sever those ties. And there is a sharpness that comes with this. When you set boundaries for yourself and when you say clearly, this is who I am, this is what I want, it can come across it can come across as a sting. It can sting other people. And that's not something that you have to really truly apologize for. Um, and I just feel the need to kind of say that now. 
because the energy is around us now, but also with this full moon, I'm seeing some of those aspects kind of showing themselves and highlighting themselves. And I just want you to be aware. So that's the first thing, first and foremost. This is coming from a space of moving from your heart, really the sacred space of your heart being called, being pulled, and also emotions. Even at my altar, and working with water and emotions, at my altar, one of the last times I went to, the, the time that I was just telling you about, where I went to my altar and I felt called to go to my altar, I was also guided to bring a bowl of water. And that's not something that I normally do, is to bring water to my altar. That's not an element that I typically usually work with at my altar, but I responded to it. I heard it twice, and then I did it, and that's when I had this dawning, this awakening, this like enlightening moment which I'll share with you guys in the next shop update or the one to come and then also this format that we're doing now. I did that and it's, you know, water works as communication, it walks, works as flow, it works with intuition, it helps to, you know, bring messages from one end to the other, it helps you to work with your intuition, we see it all the time within the tarot. So I'm seeing that aspect too of water and emotion and baptisms and water, water births and water baths Actually, yesterday, last night, during the Sacred Circle Tarot School, the girl, one of the girls that I was reading for, in her reading, she got the same words. Um, she was guided to go to the ocean. She was guided to go to the river. And she was actually guided to come to here to New Orleans. And she said that before I even said that. But regardless, there's this energy of this water baptism, this water birth. And it comes from emotion, this depth of emotion, this depth of intuition, the shadow side, the darker sides within ourselves that is not to be afraid of, but it is to be respected and seeing that and honoring that and respecting that and working your magic around that. It's very intimate, it's very sacred, it's very special, it's very divine, and only few people should have access to you and to that within yourself. So that's one thing that is I'm seeing for the Scorpio full moon is this manifestation using water, using water baptisms, oils, like it's almost like lubrication is the word that it is that I'm pulling, things in order to keep things flowing and fluid and you know open and flexible and I'm also seeing that within the chart, the sun, Mercury, Venus, uh, Uranus, all moving through the sign of Taurus. Taurus is connected to Earth and manifestation, actual materialization and manifestation. There is something that has been building up a long, long time. The word that just came through just now was bitter. I've been waiting for this and you're starting to almost get bitter because you feel like, is this going to happen? But this is when something breaks through. Mer um, Mars, the, the sign, the planet of drive, ambition, and how we're meant to move and how we're meant to flow and how we're meant to achieve is moving through the sign of cancer, the sign of emotion and intuition. There's a lot of emotion and water that it is that I'm seeing here for you guys. Um, Mars is going to be squaring off with Chiron in the, in the part of fortune. This will trigger your emotional um, healing again, but it's okay. Again, that's why the word I think bitter came up, resentment and anger, but it's okay. That's totally okay. Scorpio is known for its anger. Scorpio is known for that. And the reason why Spirit, the divine God, gave us the feeling of anger is to show us that this is, if we're scared, it, or if we're angry, if we're frustrated, it's because something needs to be protected and something there's a boundary that needs to be put. And that's actually something very sacred. That doesn't mean that you go in and you lash out at everyone, but it does require you to be honest with yourself and honest with others. And sometimes that also includes your, your own personal sting, whatever that means for you. Saturn and Pluto are currently retrograde, moving uh, through backwards through the sign of Capricorn and this is kind of rebuilding our structure. To me, again, looking at this chart, I'm seeing this so much for many of you guys who are breaking free away from binds, you know, these old careers, these old paths, these old lifestyle, like this work that it was that you're doing and now you're stepping into your destiny, you're stepping into your purpose and the ups and the downs that come with that and the growth that comes from that, it's outrageous. Maybe you haven't Maybe it's not a brand new journey for you. For some of you guys, it's lessons that it is that you're learning and that you're going through. And, you know, that's, it's, you know, you're building the groundwork. You're retweaking the groundwork for that. And that's to be respected. And you're, that the timing of that is everything. It's perfect. With the Scorpio full moon, though, and we'll pull, you know, we'll do the pick a card pulls and see what it is that you pull for yourself. 
But with the Scorpio full moon, I really am seeing some type of material materialization, like the feeling, the confirmation, the confirmation of that. And then also, I'm seeing many of you guys going to your altar or going to the ocean or going to these sacred spaces or having a ritual within a bath, within a sacred space, a source of water. Um, at the time of the full moon and working with that in order to increase your magic and inc increase your attention in tension now there's one two three four five six there's six herbs um, and elements that came through while I was working my meditation getting ready for this Scorpio full moon the largest one was Hawthorne the Hawthorne bush um, and hawthorn berries and working with hawthorn in general now hawthorn is actually it's so interesting to me because it's very masculine it's connected to fire but and that you know that drive that that um that high energy that aggressive energy but there's so much magic to it that the hawthorn bush is so beyond sacred that people have actually said that you can you know fairies and elements and magic and even witches are tied to the hawthorn bush and the hawthorn berry and that's what i'm seeing here not only does it provide protection but it's amazing for fertility not maybe if you like to get pregnant but also goddess vibes and growing things and protecting things as they grow and i literally just happened to make eye contact <laughs> with my fertility um uh intention oil which is available in my shop but like i just happened to look over and i see the fertility oil and that's one of the various um and elements that it is that i work use within that within that oil so that's something that it is that i'm seeing here um most of your magic when it comes to working with the hawthorn berry and the hawthorn bush ends up bringing happiness incredible joy and i'm seeing that connection to your emotions and water i'm also seeing high john the conqueror root and rose of jericho there's aspects of resurrection but also i'm seeing you guys connecting with your emotions your intuition in order to pull your power in and direct it and funnel it sometimes we look at emotions like oh emotions make me weak no my love if you know how to channel your emotions your emotions could power through a brick wall what like what it can seriously power through a brick wall if you're high if you're vibing if you're thriving if you're happy if you're angry if you know how to channel that emotion resurrection renewal um being restored i think that that was the word that i was missing earlier to see like these areas of our lives that were painfully were sawing off now it's like they're growing back they're re-emerging i don't want to see you guys calling in things of the past that are no longer serving you or are toxic because that's not going to serve you now but i am seeing it re-emergence if it comes through it comes through especially with saturn and pluto here they have a connection to they have the ability and the power and sometimes they decide to pull things into the past or pull things from past lives into our present moment now so i'm definitely seeing that with the rose of jericho i think i have instructions on how to work with the rose of jericho on my youtube channel but I'll have to check on that. I'll put a star next to that to make sure that I have a YouTube video for you guys up on that on how I work with it and how you can work with it. The next thing is the juniper berry. I'm definitely seeing confidence. Speak up. Take that risk. Be bold. Oh my gosh. It's like masculine. It's like I need to be assertive. I need to speak up. This is people who have been holding things in, in their heads all the time, all the time, thinking, 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 second guessing themselves, having anxiety, doubt, hesitation, and now you need that power. Juniper, berry, juniper berries will give you that power, and I put that in some of my oils. I'm not li listing my recipes anymore, but juniper berry is one of those things, too, that will increase that potency, especially for men, my men out there. You know, you, there's so much expectation and weight on you to be heavy and strong and mature all the time, and you're learning and growing and striving just like the women are and just juniper berry is one of those things that i think that is truly going to help you to step into that masculine energy to be assertive to bang it out you know what i mean to be powerful to step up and be the masculine energy that it is that i know that you can be and again i looked at the clock it's 11 33 so take it for what you will the next thing that i'm seeing is frankincense burning frankincense just legit increases the vibration of your space it purifies it it protects your space it protects you but increases the vibration in a way that is so highly positive potent positivity is what i'm going to call that and then orange was something else too that i that i called in and or that I saw and I see that as sweetness and joy and pleasure and attraction and just that nice element of 
funness and lighting things up in a way that is beautiful and fragrant and wonderful and that's ultimately what I'm seeing. These herbs are things that I'm seeing here. You can use those herbs in order to anoint your candles, in order to work your magic, to put in your bath soaks, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're called to do. Put them in envelopes with, while you're setting your intention. I have herbs available within my shop. I have the best herbs all on the internet, thank God. And that being said, okay, let's go ahead and move on to the pick a card reading, the intuitive card pulls. I have not seen these cards yet, so it should be interesting as far as what they have for us. And I'm going to give you guys a minute now to kind of connect with your intuition, to ask your guides, to ask your spirit guides, to ask your ascent, the ascended masters, to ask your ancestors to guide you to intuitively pick the card that resonates with you the most. And I actually have crystals I think that I can put on these decks. Okay, I will. I will. I'm going to put crystals on these decks. And then at the very end, I want you to hear the closing message, good of message here collectively for the group. And that's going to be at the end and I'll have that time stamp available for you. But in the meantime, I'm going to go grab those crystals. While there's a pause, go ahead and take a deep breath. Pause this video, connect with your guides, call them in, ask them to speak to you in the way, the deck that will resonate with you the most. I'll be right back. Bye. From these piles using your intuition, choose one, the Palo Santo, two, the Smoky Quartz, or three, the Gardenia Bud. Okay, for those of you guys that picked the Palo Santo pile, you have Be Flexible, Vibe Check, Knight of Pentacles, the Empress, Armadillo, Protection and Boundaries, Relationship. I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. Make it now fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I needn't fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. Speak no more. Okay. You are destined for greatness on the wings of love. You were born with that it quality. The fire fairy, creative action and optimism. The stag, pride and leadership. And then unrequited love and give your relationship a chance. Now the first thing that is coming to me with this is, um, I wanna say like self-love, self-worth type energy vibes. Hold on, let me move the Palo Santo for a minute. That's the first thing that's coming through. Number one, because the Empress, it's almost like the cards here are saying, did you not, did you forget your spark? Did you forget how divine you were? Did you forget how magnetic and abundant and thriving you were destined to be and how you are meant to be? This thing, it says, you were born with that it quality. That reminds you of your self-worth, your value, which almost seems like you forgot. You've forgotten. You know, when things happen to you and when you're moving towards a goal or you are you want commitment, you want to build something of substance, of worth, of an, and a value. And sometimes it seems like the environment around you, your external environment, doesn't match the energy that it is that you bring. And as an empress, you have so much to offer, gifts in the form of gifts with intuition, nurturing, energy, abundance, it almost seems like, you know, if you were to add on to this and touch it, it would naturally grow. If you give your love to this, it will naturally grow, but it almost seems as though, you know, people, the vibes, the energy that is around you is not a reflection of the energy, like, of your, the potential of your energy, but it is mirroring your energy right now. So this is why you need to check your vibes and to check with your intuition. And what is it that the energy around you is speaking to you? What is your intuition? What has it been sharing with you? What has it been teaching you? What has it been showing you? Your relationships with others, your relationship, like look at this, unrequited love and give your relationship a chance. When I see this, it's almost like, I don't want to say forcing, but trying to make two things and two people come together, two opportunities kind of come together and you just can't. When there's friction, you know, it just is like not, it's not working. Over time with the universe, we see that with um, our planet, when things aren't working together, we have earthquakes. When the earth, when the two plates come together, it creates friction. When crystals get rubbed down or rocks get rubbed down by the river, it's that friction that smooths them and polishes them. And ultimately that's kind of what it is that I'm seeing here is You've really been trying to kind of 
force two things together. But the thing is, is that the Empress, she never forces. She never forces. She always effortlessly pulls in. She always effortly, effortlessly attracts. And that's all, again, I think why you have this card here of be flexible. The Scorpio full moon, again, it's all about your personal power. It's all about your ability to manipulate and control your environment, not in a way that is negative or bad, but in a way that helps you to receive and to attract and to bring in the relationships, the right people, the right things that merge with you. If you are actually destined for greatness by moving from a space of love, then step into that space because who you are and what you naturally exude is good enough as is, but you have to remember that. You have to lift your head up. You have to self-care. You have to self-soothe. Some of you guys I'm seeing a little bit of you, um, you know, isolating just a little bit. That's a very small few, um, small portion of you. The others, it's almost like you just having fun and having fun in your relationships, having fun with your life, being more playful. That you doing that is going to help you to kind of lessen, you know, this grip that it is that you have and realizing that when you're actually effortless and playful and creative and everything's not so restricted and confined and tight all the time, things just start to naturally flow within your life. And I'm seeing you really picking up again on being creative, on being optimistic, on having faith in the future, faith in your own potential. And for that reason, things just start to flow all on their own. If something is not choosing you, it has nothing to do with you, it has everything to do with them. But you need to manifest and bring in your heart's truest desires by knowing that you are actually worthy because you were born with that special quality that makes you so unique and so divine. My group number, my Palo Santo group, you are the, the, the Empress. And the other thing too is that Palo Santo, it doesn't completely wipe out and remove all energy. There's still some stuff that has lingered here. So this shows me that what you have already started creating building because again, you have the Knight of Pentacles here. So something is already in motion. Something has already kind of been established. You don't have to completely wipe everything out because the Empress just takes, okay, this seedling is growing, this one's struggling, this one is you know, not doing well at all. She takes what she has and she kind of adjusts with it because she herself is actually really flexible. So you don't have to toss everything out. That, you know, toss the baby out with the bathwater is what they say. And I still don't understand what that quote means, but people say it all the time and now here I am saying it. But you don't have to toss everything out, but I do see a little, um, purification process that I that you're going to ultimately end up doing um, in order to help to kind of remove this this kind of stick stuckedness is what it is that I'm gonna call it um, the thing that I'm, I feel right now that spirit is telling me is that you know they're, they're saying we value your commitment we value your dedication to the cause but then also um, make sure that you're committed and you're dedicated to the right things the right people at the right time and if they're not there yet it has, again, it has nothing to do with you, but just kind of redirect your forces, your focus elsewhere. It's temporary. The full moon is gonna bring those emotions up to the surface, but also channel your personal power again. And for you guys, my number, well, my Palo Santo group, I'm seeing a lot of creativity. It's almost like if you're an artist or something and you're painting this vision of your life, um, you kind of have to take a step back because you're too immersed in it. And then taking a step back, um, will allow you to see the bigger picture and allow you to be like, oh, this actually doesn't suck. This is actually kind of beautiful or this is what I want to take this or, you know, whatever the case may be. Sorry, guys. I'm just like burning a lot of Palo Santo right now. So I want to make sure that I'm not about to set the fire alarms off because I'd rather not have my landlord come in and yell at me today. <laughs> today. Um, the Empress, too, is highly sensitive and super in tune. It's like if you know like something over there is not right, she can like pick up on it. And that's the thing that I'm seeing with you guys too is you like intuitively know, okay, something's not right. This is in trouble. This is going on. This is what's happening. I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm not gonna search for the evidence of it, but something just ain't right here. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't vibe well. Right now the timing is not right. Honor that and just kind of flow with that and be flexible with that. Cause I'm seeing you guys' antenna really getting kind of picked up and um, yeah, and you kind of respecting that, that messages that are gonna come through, especially around the Scorpio time of the full moon. So what is it I'm seeing for you guys that pulled the Palo Santo is legit um, floating. 
legit. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you guys working your magic by floating. I don't know what that means for you. Maybe you are going to go to a body of water. Maybe you are going to float in your bathtub. Maybe you are going to release and relinquish your need to control things. Speak more to spirit than you do others. Speak more to your ancestors, your guides, than you do your friends and your family. Tell spirit your goals. Tell spirit your desires and stop telling people that because that's a part of your own protection and your boundaries. And then let go of your need to control. Step into that Empress vibe and allow yourself to receive. And as soon as you do it, manifestation, materialization. Okay, so what do I see for my spirit courts group? We have body talk, exercise your vibes, eight of wands. So this is a lot of action, a lot of activity, knight of cups, self-acceptance. Nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself. When you offer your whole being fully to love, self-acceptance arises spontaneously. May I rest in our oneness, dear divine. I love that. Create space for new love. Everyone is doing their best. The queen, woman, fertility, feminine power, sexuality, and friendships. We also see the butterfly and beauty. This card of very soon. And then also we have the fox, which is about patience and harmony. Right away. I mean, do you guys see this? This is all about, okay, am I good enough? Am I whole? Am I complete? I'm working on this. This is like a person who's been through getting hit after hit after hit trying to prove themselves, trying to do the most, trying to do everything. And then it just seems like some things around them kind of beat up on them and kind of break down the self-esteem and break down your optimism and break down your feminine energy and break down your vibe. Um, that, the thing is, is that, you know, what I'm seeing is you, it almost reminds me of group th that pulled Palo Santo. This reminds me of that group because this is about accepting the current status quo and being present within this moment and realizing like you need space, but more than that, you also need self love and self acceptance and appreciating the feminine energy, your feminine power, your sexuality, your divine essence, nature here currently right now. Maybe for you guys, I, maybe this is actually going out and you stretching yourself and stretching your limits, you know, like pushing yourself through your physical activity, getting out there, walking, connecting with energy, going hiking, paddle boarding. For some reason, I'm seeing like standing up paddle board or whatever. There is this like action and activity that it's like, you know, this is the what I want to do, but this is going to help you to get into alignment by seeing what your, your physical body can do, by seeing what your mental body can do, by not pushing yourself to the limit, but challenging yourself and having fun and entering into this space of just, this is who I am and I only have one life to live. Let it be something that is that brings me joy, that brings me pleasure. That is going to help you to move into alignment within yourself. The other thing that I'm seeing is wh harshness. Why are we so harsh? Why are we so harsh on ourselves? There, when you look at a rose, it is equal parts beauty as it is thorns, and it has, um, you know, aspects to it that hurt, that are painful. I have roses on my altar as we speak, red roses, and that that is a representation of us too. There are aspects of ourselves that are so beautiful, and that we see them as beautiful, and there's aspects of ourselves that sometimes we struggle to accept, and both of those aspects. Whether you, your perspective sees it as good or evil, they're both from the divine. And for that reason, they are both perfect. It's only your, perfect, your perspective of them that changes if you call them perfect or not. The same is true for your circumstances. So I'm just seeing you getting into a space where, you know, this disappointment, this frustration, this, you know, I wish things were different. I wish I was different. I wish things were different. That needs to be removed. It needs to be let go because the good or the bad literally doesn't exist. It is only your perspective and your perspective can change the outcome and change how you view it depending on if your perspective changes. And at the end of the day, that comes from you. That's a lot to digest. That's a lot. That's a mouth mouthful. But that's what it is that I'm seeing. There's this card too that says everyone is doing their best. But sometimes even when I'm seeing this and when I'm seeing that is that if you don't accept, you know, what someone is giving, then consider maybe change, changing your perspective. Sometimes we get into a space where it's like, I deserve more, but that person is giving you the best of what they have, or this opportunity is giving the best of all that it has. And 
that's just what it is so i'm seeing some you know movement forward and ultimately it's for you to decide if you want to abandon everything or abandon something or but don't abandon yourself in that process if you find that you are abandoning abandoning yourself by choosing something else or someone else then that's where you need to create space here in order to love yourself and to bring new energy new vibration in there's a lot of this fast speed activity so i'm seeing for some of you guys literally exercising getting out getting some fresh air going hiking taking your dog for a walk chasing your cat trying to get your cat off the top of the fridge i don't know about you guys but i've had to do that before in the past climbing up the cabinets what are you doing up there how did you get up there how did you get on the roof now i have to call the humane society to come and get you down so that type of activity as far as getting out and getting fresh air um walking around a new city going for a bike ride going for a swim not in the mississippi river because it's not safe and it's also dirty but really kind of being patient and harmonious and working your alchemy in order to merge and accept and not accept when i say accept i'm not saying that you are settling you're just seeing you're changing your perspective to be like damn this this what i have now is actually truly a gift let me try and make this work and that is a part of self-love and finding beauty in your current situation your friendships your connections your intimacy you know these are some things that are being highlighted here for you. And there's a lot of activity around you. So I'm seeing the Scorpio full moon really bringing some clarity, some intense clarity, some messages. The smoky quartz is actually a quartz that brings clarity and communication and intuition and just like, yo, what? Like that's okay, okay, okay. Like that's the vibe that I sometimes get with the smoky corpse, cool corpse, the smoky corpse, ew. Um, speaking of the Mississippi River, right? But uh, <laughs> but this smoky quartz again brings that clarity. And come on, look at this. This is you have so many messengers coming in here. You have the Eight of Wands. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the Very Soon card. Somehow, somewhere, some way, someone is seeing the potential in you, and they're like, "Come out, come out, come join me." I, it's not that I, thank you for being patient with me. It's not that I didn't accept you and love you as is. I just had to figure out what was going on in my head and things start becoming clear. So let's call that in. Even as I'm saying that, my scalp is tickling. So I'm seeing that for this Scorpio full moon. Sorry guys, I dropped uh, my lighter back there. But I'm seeing that for the Scorpio full moon is calling in clarity, calling in self-love, calling in the best for yourself. And also... Um, acceptance and harmony and uh, different alchemy happening in order to make different things totally different opposites come together in a way to build and you know attract love and positive vibes and vibration let's move on to the third group which is the group of the gardenia flower bud that fell off of my gardenia tree this morning I almost dropped it again I don't know about you guys but I love the gardenia so so much so the cards that I have for you is fake it till you make it, what do you love? And then we have two of wands, the world card. Trust and home, <laughs> forgiveness, healing comes from acceptance. Help me dear God, help me spirit to fully accept what is knowing that this alone will open me to the new. Me forgiving is going to help me to move forward. Okay, things are not as they appear. Yo! forgive can you see that forgive of course anger is always justified but then so can forgiveness just depends on how much more you want from the adventure wow the dragon power and strength we have restriction and then also we have keep an open mind it's interesting how these cards are kind of falling coming together the gardenia i want to go back to the gardenia there's a reason why you picked that and there's a reason why this little guy is all i keep dropping him poor thing and that's probably why he's like say sorry you keep dropping me why do you keep dropping me do you see me trying to blossom do you see me trying to bloom which i can't do now because somehow it fell off of my gardenia bush you keep dropping me you keep hurting me you keep messing me up you keep doing the most I love this. I love that. You have two cards here that talk about forgiveness. You also have this card here, two of wands, that's like looking out into the distance and you feel restricted. You're on the shores looking out into the world and you're like, I'm trying to move forward. I need to move forward. I, it's like 
sometimes when we see this card, fake it till you make it, it's not that the universe or spirit is asking you to pretend like something didn't happen, but sometimes you have to get into the motion of you know, me forgiving or me letting go is essential to me moving forward. The world card is all about life, the highs and the lows of that. For those of you guys that are part of my Sacred Circle Tarot School, revisit the Fool's journey and how in-depth we I go into telling that story of the Fool moving through the Major Arcana. The Fool goes through so much. He goes through so much and it's the the world card at the very end that he transcends all of that and all of the highs, all of the lows, bring him to this moment where he's finally like, I've learned all these lessons. But if you had to learn through all of those lessons, then I guarantee you, you've been challenged, you've been hurt, you've been beat up, you've been busted up. And right now, it's really hard for you to trust and put yourself out there. In fact, it's like, I'm just going to sit on the sideline because I don't even want to get involved anymore. I don't even want to try anymore. If I try, what's going to happen? Like, I'm tired. I'm doing the most. And... The thing is, is that there's something out there that you truly love, that it is that you're looking toward, that you want to build, and that is where you belong. That's what I see for you. And if it wasn't for these lessons and these areas that kind of restricted you and they didn't work out because you were restricted from going down there because it wasn't safe, it wasn't for your highest and greatest good. But these people or these things or um, the circumstances that fell apart as you were trying to walk through that door, it scars you and it hurts you and it creates pain and suffering on your heart. But the reality is, is that if you open your mind and see it for what it actually is, you will see that... Um, Though that's not where you belong. That wasn't where you were meant to rest your anchor. That wasn't where you were meant to root. And that's why it didn't last. That's why you're redirected to come this way. Right now, I see you guys getting really like clammed up and locked up. And the gardenia, when it blooms, not and when it's in a space to drop its anchor and it's safe to bloom because that's where it belongs. When the gardenia blooms, the, the, the flower of one gardenia bloom can like make this entire courtyard. My, car, my courtyard is huge. Will, it will scent the entire courtyard and when you look at it, it's pure, it's innocence, it's, um, you know, it's not, you know, bled on by the, uh, the things of the past, it still emerges brand new as if nothing has ever happened. And that's ultimately what it is that I'm seeing for you guys is that there's a space where you need to drop your anchor when you are safe, when you are ready. Right now, what you're going to be needing to do for the Scorpio full moon is to find and call in the home that you belong to, the heart that it is that you belong to. Home is where the heart is. So that's what I'm seeing for you is like, this is my home. This is where I belong. Instead of using that strength, you know, all of that that has happened for to happen to you to block you and to keep you bound, you're using that strength to kind of like hold yourself in, like that's where you're using the power for, use that power to unfold when, while you call in, use a Scorpio full moon in order to call in, um, this is where I belong, this is my home, this is my love, this is where I'm safe, this is for me, this is mine, this is my destiny, this is my calling, so here is where I will drop anchor, here is where I belong, this is where, this is for me, and in the meantime, I forgive everything that has happened, and it's not that, I don't wanna fake this anymore, but I also have to kind of get into the motion of practicing forgiveness, even though it's really, really hard for me. Um, things are not as they appear, meaning that our perspective on things sometimes, it's like, why did you say no to me? Why did you reject me? I tried to open that door. I thought this was it. And of course I needed money or of course I needed this. Uh, like, why did it, they say no? Like, it had something to do with me. Like, why wouldn't, like, I needed this. But it's not as it, as it appears. You, you were protected from that for a reason. That wasn't where you belonged. Your heart was called to it because a part of you loved it and a part of you resonated with it. The things that it is that you say yes to ultimately is because your destiny kind of looks like that thing but it's not complete yet it's not whole and that's why you're restricted from it because that is not your thing but you resonated with it because you see the similarities in the thing that is destined for you so if the universe is telling you no then it's not a, a, a total rejection it's just kind of like a redirection like go this way because it looks similar to what it is that we have for you and that's why you chose it to learn those lessons and to go through that but that's not where we want you to drop anchor and if you see that for for what that is and forgive it then you finally be in a space where you can totally bloom and i'm seeing a lot of like self-love self-growth and this baptism this removal of this energy so that you can finally release i'm seeing feeling a lot of tension in my back and lastly before my battery dies 
we see let go of control issues, the hawk omen messages, the grail knight seeking the sacred. We see there's a deeper reason for each of your questions, seek it. There's a deeper reason for each of your questions, seek it. Guidance, attention, help, maybe, love always, criticism never. The question was, what to give others, if anything at all? Isn't it fun to be you? And then we're also seeing you are adored. We're seeing the truth. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, God. You do the talking divine. Take me over and speak through me. The vulture, opportunistic and adaptable. The king of swords, the ten of wands. Let go and accept the gifts of the universe. Ultimately for the Scorpio full moon, I'm seeing messages coming through. I'm seeing clarity coming through. I see you being honest with an eagle eye, a sharp eye. This is opportunity here. There's a reason why. That I have been loved this entire time. Tell me about it. I want to hear about it. Let go of this need to control yourself. Let go of this need to control your ego, this perspective of you have, this vulnerability that you don't want to share. By doing that, by opening your heart up and getting out of your head and into your heart and calling that out and speaking that will lift the burden up and help to take you to the next level. You are so adored by the universe. The universe has gifts that it truly wants to give to you, but first you have to let go. You've been holding on to this energy, this blockage, this burden for too long. It's all in your head and there's signs around you telling you left and right, please release because there's so much here for you. This illusion, this fantasy, this romance, it is something that is sacred and has your name written all over it. But all you need to do is let go and accept the gifts of the universe and speak them out clearly, precisely. There's a reason. There's a reason for it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please share this video with your friends, your family, if you loved it. Share it on your social media, your Instagram. Tag me, hashtag Bahati Life or at Bahati Life. And I'll see you in my next video. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Happy full moon.